Hello and welcome to another Python tutorial video, guys. We're continuing the Colorama series. I'm Rudy the Null. I'll be walking you through all this stuff. And, uh, you know, we're actually in Windows today because I'm still going through that little series, or at least that idea of covering the keyword or the arguments or the parameters that we could pass to the init function or the initialize function that you'll typically need to have at the beginning of every program that uses the Colorama module. Now, in the last one, we were checking out uh, Auto Reset and what that would do is it would allow us to uh, reset our colors and any of the setting tweaks that we made after every output command, like with print. So now we're actually going to be testing a new one that's called a convert. And what convert would do, typically, is it would change whether or not to convert the ASCII characters, I'm sorry, the ANSI characters to the Windows API calls to display the colored text. So, in essence, it's a really, really weird way to just stop Windows from displaying the color. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm going to get the command line open in Windows so I can actually show you guys how it looks before and after. Now, my program is in my desktop right now, so I'm going to change directory to my desktop, and I'm going to run C, Python, 27, because this is, this is the root, or at least this is where my Python executable or interpreter is found. It's Python DXE, and I can run test.python. That's the name of the script that I have open right now. And it tells me this is red text. Okay, that's easy enough. But if inside of our initialize function we actually set convert to equal to true, we'll see something funny here. Nothing happens just yet because we're telling it that we can convert. That's perfectly fine. We're setting it to true. But what if we were to change it to false? So we don't want you to convert. We're changing the default settings. And now this is red text. You, uh... You don't get any color. This is just plain old red text that's actually white text. So all this does, in essence, is it stops the Windows API from changing the color of the text that you're displaying out here. So it's really, really strange and confuzzled, but it's one way to do it. You have an option to sort of override it in Windows. I don't know why you would ever want to do this, because it kind of completely defeats the purpose. But hey, I figured I'd make a video about it because you have the option. And I wanted you guys to be able to know all the ins and outs of this module, because that's the most important part, making the module part of your, tool, part of, part of your toolkit. Sorry, I'm stuttering, guys, but I really want to get this across to you that, hey, no matter what it is that you can learn, go ahead and learn it. And that's, that's kind of awesome. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching this one though guys, uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial, adios.